Hi, my name is March Kingsdorf. Uh, in 2011, I was diagnosed with stage two invasive lobular carcinoma, breast cancer. And when I first found out, I, I had no clue. I was in shock. Then I was kind of in denial. Then I was kind of frustrated. And then I realized, you know, about one in seven of us <laughs> get this. So we're really a number. And life's all about plan B. So this was plan B for me. And I had a wonderful surgeon. I opted for a lumpectomy versus a mastectomy. I went through chemo, which was, it, it, that was the toughest part, only because I'm a real control freak. And losing my hair, I realized I had no control. But I had to make the best of it. So when it was what I call ponytail day, when you're little and your, your ponytail's a little bit too tight and your mom takes it out and that kind of funny feeling on the crown of your head, that's when they told me that my hair had come. So every, every day for a week, I felt it. And I was like, it's ponytail day, and it wasn't. Fifth day, it's ponytail day, and I looked in the shower and I went, oh my goodness. So I called uh, my salon and went to Casey Sanchez, who I adore. She said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, well, first let's shave it into a mohawk, which we did. I have pictures. It looks wonderful. Um, then we finished shaving the rest. I looked at wigs. You know, I looked at scarves that I tried to tie. Everything fell off because, you know, your hair, head's like a cue ball. And then I happened at a drugstore in Covington. And I went in and I saw these these, these little kerchiefs that were already knotted and tied and, and fit anybody's head. And I was just, I was like shocked about the entire basket. And they were chemo beanies. And little did I know that it was started by women, you know, from my area, from Covington, Louisiana. And I started reading about them, and they were on Channel 4 News, they had been in the paper, they had been, I was fascinated with their story, also so thankful that they had designed through years of their own, you know, kind of practice trying to get it right, these chemo beanies, and I wore them every single day to whatever I was doing, to formal functions, to, it didn't make any difference. And I loved them so much that I still have them. And when I'm having like a bedhead day, like a really bad hair day, I just wear them. Just like I'm Rhoda. Like my, they're like my, my second skin. And I realized that for me it was a chapter. And it made me such a stronger person. It made me appreciate my family, my children, my husband, my siblings. Um, it made me much more forgiving, much kinder. In fact, I say hi to every single person in the grocery store, whether I know them or not. And in the long run, and if I can get this straight, this is how I sum it up, is that, you know, it's one of those unusually unfortunate instances. But I realized that I could dance like nobody was watching. You know, I could love like I'd never been hurt. I could sing like nobody was listening. And I live like it's heaven on earth every day.